Hey lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, this setup is a little different than my normal plan with me's. That's because it's not a plan with me. It is in part of a way, but it's not. So part of my new year is about finding things that bring me joy. One of the things that used to bring me a lot of joy was sitting down to scrapbook with my mom. It started as my mom and I scrapbooking and slowly morphed into my grandma was scrapbooking and my aunt was scrapbooking and my cousins were scrapbooking and then my sister started scrapbooking and it became a whole family thing. So much so that us girls would get together for a long weekend. We would go away to a scrapbooking retreat and we would literally scrapbook all weekend. Meals were served to us. We stayed at um, different places and it was just time spent together making memories while we scrapbooked old memories. And it was something that used to bring me a lot of joy, something that I really, really loved. And I realized it's also something that I want to get back to. Now, I normally scrapbook in a big 12 by 12 creative memories scrapbook. However, I realized that part of the reason that I put down my scrapbook and I haven't really picked it back up is not only, you know, depressional things and life happening, but I realized it just wasn't accessible anymore. It became one of those things that I couldn't just do on a whim. I had to plan it out. I had to get everything out. And then I had to set everything up and it just became a whole thing and I didn't want to mess with it. So I have been thinking it over and I've been talking with my mom and one of the things, and since it is something that I want to get back to in 2023, I've been trying to figure out how to make it more accessible and easier for me to just sit down and do. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube channels and one of the things that caught my eye was last year, Kel of a Plan, when she did her 2022 lineup, she had a memory keeper. I was very intrigued by this. So I started researching more on YouTube because, you know, like that's apparently the new Google. And I realized that a lot of planners, people have memory keepers. Some people have just a journal that they keep memories in and occasionally put a photo or a memento in it. But for some, it became like a combined planner and scrapbook. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I want to still be able to put my pictures down and decorate a full page and have themes and make it fun again. Use my stamps and use my stickers and use paper and... I want it to be something that brings me joy. So my mom and I took to the Hobby Lobby because that's what you do when you're ready to get crafty, right? And we hit up Michael's and I even went to Joanne Fabrics and I found quite an assortment of things. So I've started setting myself up in my budget and in my planner that the first paycheck of every new month I go and I purchase and order the pictures from the pre previous month. So right now all I have is October because today I ordered my December or my November stuff and then in January I will order my December stuff. So a lot of people do December daily and I'm going to do a variation of December daily but it's not going to be like how other people prepare for December or do their December dailies. It's basically just gonna be a time that I can sit down and do a page every single day to start getting caught up on the previous pages. Now, I'm gonna do it once a week, at least that's the goal. So it's going to be a way for me to get caught up on the previous stuff. Now the goal for 2023 is that I will start doing the current, the stuff from the previous month and if I have time, so like say the last week of January, I'm already caught up with all my December stuff, then I'll start working on something previous. Sorry guys, I lost my train of thought. Somebody was outside my window. It was freaking me out. So I'll work on previous months. 
Now, most people get a binder or some sort of thing to put their December dailies in and then they start tracking the stories and the memories that are happening in December as they're happening. I'm not doing that. That was originally my plan, which is why I bought this A5 poly cover from Fancy Plans Co. And now I'm not even gonna use it for that. And I ended up getting some discs. I think I already, yeah, I already put those away. But I had already bought discs and I had already bought a cover and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. And then I realized that's not what I wanna do. I just wanna use December as a time to be able to sit down every single day and work on something, whether it be a page or designing a layout or whatever the case may be. I just wanna be able to sit down and start doing it again every day. Now, maybe at some point I will get to a point where I can, that I'm doing December daily like everybody else does. But for right now, for me, it's just about making it a habit to get back to my memory keeping. I have decided that I'm going to use a 20, this was an 18 month planner that my mom had bought for my sister and she ended up not using it and she asked me if I wanted it. I was like, yes, I do, it's perfect. It is a vertical layout, it is very neutral, it's just black and white, all the pages look the same and it's just a way for me to journal something that happened that day, take a picture, I am going to be buying one of the Happy Planner Classic Punches and um, so that they fit perfectly in here. And I am just going to start using this as my scrapbook. So instead of having a separate planner or a separate keeper for my daily December stuff, I am just going to keep it all in my memory planner and I am just going to use this as a scrapbook because I realize that not every day is going to have something new on it. And on those days, I can just white out the I can white out the date and put, you know, a piece of paper or something across the top. And if I have an event that maybe needs two spreads, then I can just take the days out and cover them up somehow and use two spreads. Totally easy and doable. But it's also a way for me to keep track of things that are happening throughout the year. It's something that I want to remember. I may not have a sticker for it or I may not have a picture for it, but I can journal about it. And so this is going to become like a journal slash memory keeper. And I'm going to start planning in here. Now, small spoiler alert, you will see my 2023 planner lineup. You should have already seen it. I think it went up at the beginning of this week but I am going to be keeping this in 2023, this habit in 2023. So this is basically just a video showing you the things that I have gotten to start doing this. And then there will be another video later on this month showing you different layouts that I have gotten started with. So let's go ahead and show you what you're, we're using. So we're gonna be using this planner, which was from last year. And then I've got tons and tons of stuff here. These are just pictures from October. My November ones were ordered today, so they will be coming later and we will get started with those. So I did get just a couple sticker packs because I do have tons and tons of sticker packs. But again, when I was using the A5, I had printed this picture. I had this December dashboard. It was one that I had cut down. And I had this picture that I was going to be using in my memory keeper. I still might, but obviously they're not gonna be full pages. I got these stickers. Poinsettias are one of my favorites. So I had to get a pack of those. And then I got this cute pack of stickers. It's called the Dear Santa Sticker Pack from the Paper Studio. I got these at Hobby Lobby and they are eight sheets, eight sheets of foiled stickers. So we've got these. Dear Santa, I can explain. I love this. 
little car. Merry everything and happy always. And then we get to some just basic like icon stickers. I love this, the reindeer all dressed up. Again, I love these old fashioned cars. And then we have a sticker sheet of letters and some numbers. So those are the stickers that I've gotten currently. I do have some leftover planner kits of Christmas stuff that I'm going to be using as well for my December stuff. And when we start getting to other months, I will show you other stickers that I've gotten for other holidays. But this is just what I've got for Christmas. This rest of this stack is all paper. There's a lot of it. A lot, a lot of it. So it's, it's, it's a lot. I found this old Smashbook from back when I was in high school and it literally just has tons and tons of different kinds of pages that I'm going to rip out and then re-hole punch for my happy. So a lot of these um, came from, actually, I think all of these did. Yes, all of these came from Hobby Lobby except for these four pages. I got these from our Christmas party at work. So I love this one and I thought it would be cute paired with this because it matches the trees. And then I love this one and I love this one. Um, I did get some vellum. I got some white vellum. It looks like snow. I got some flat gold foiled flower vellum. And then I got some vellum that has like some tree prints on it. And honestly, I'm not even sure if you can see those, but I got those. And then I got two sticker packs. This is what they look like. So same pack. So they have some of this sparkle paper or shimmer paper in various different colors and then the front of it has a couple of different like patterned pages so we've got fa la 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 oh fa la 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 is apparently the only patterned one because then we go right back into these specialized pages i've got red vellum oh look we have one i've got some buffalo plaid Oh, well, I guess this is just plaid then, or tartan. And then we've got buffalo plaid back here. And then the various different shades of textured sparkle paper. So I have two packs of that. I got, these were all individual sheets. So I got this red sparkle and it goes with this red stripe. This is actually ripped from one of the books. I got this pack at um, the Dollar General. This is five by seven paper and it's just different black and white sheets. I've got two of these red truck ones because red trucks are my favorite. I got Buffalo plaid again. And then this is some of the sparkle paper out of one of those packs. I got this black and this black and white Christmas winter one, a small tree, and then this Merry Christmas one. And then I got, this came out of my Be Festive box and I would love to use it in my December pages, so I kept it. And then I got three big sticker books. Well, two big ones and then a small eight by eight one. So this is called Evergreen Greetings. I'm just gonna do a very, very, very quick flip through. So it looks like you get four sheets of each one. That's where I pulled that blue. And they're all the same and you get, basically they come up with a theme and a color scheme and then that book sticks with it so that those pages will go together. I love this one.
Oh, I love this one too. That's it for that one. This one is a little bit bigger than the other one. These are all 12 by 12s. This one is called Evergreen Cottage. And I love these, these have foil in them. I love this like butcher paper, craft paper. I don't know what you would call it. But as you can see, there's lots in here. This says deck the halls. I love these little cottages. It says Merry Christmas. Oh. And then more of those black pages. And then I will be completely honest, I bought this sticker book for one set of pages and I'm not even mad about it. Actually, this one's not even opened. So let's open this. skaters this actually matches the um, happy planners be festive box I didn't even notice that that's cute too This page right here is the entire reason that I bought this sticker book. 12 Days of Christmas is my one of my favorite Christmas songs, but we have a set of ornaments that were my great grandmother's and she passed them down to my grandmother who passed them down to me. So obviously it skipped a generation, but they are my absolute favorite ornaments ever. They are metal, they are hand painted, and they have the different you know, 12 days of Christmas. So there's one that's got, it's shaped like a tree and it has a bird in it and it says a partridge in a pear tree. And then there's the one that's got, they're each hand painted and I absolutely love them. So it's something very special to me, I guess. And when I saw this page in here, I was like, yep, I'm buying it. Don't even care if I don't like the rest of the book. This, we're getting it. So I love this one. This is cute too. Joy to the world. A very merry Noel. This matches the sticker book that I got. Ah, I love these cars. I love this Ferris Isle. And that's it. So that's everything that I got. All the paper, all the stickers, and what how I'm going to be doing my December dailies. I hope this is something you guys enjoy and will come along the ride for. Um, I may not show you every spread, but a lot of it will be recorded and I hope it's something you guys enjoy as well. So I will see you guys tomorrow for another video and I cannot wait to get started on this project with you guys. Bye guys. Bye.